guys, it's Katie, and I'm here in Sanger, Texas today with Luna. She's a Winsleydale U, about two years old, and she is pregnant. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible for her, but this is a really cool breed because they are a long wool breed, and the shine underneath this fleece is amazing. Can't wait to get, can't, can't wait to get in there and show you, and I think she's ready to be done. If you're into this making things naked thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If not, stick around for the video anyways. You might find out you actually like it. Now she can see all the babies that are about to come out. <laughs> oh yeah! Look how long those locks are, man. And what's nice about this breed is there's no neck wrinkle to worry about, like the Rambolets. She got her name. You guys can't hear me very well while I'm cheering. But this little moon spot right here is how Luna got her name. And look how shiny this is. All of that lanolin just built up in there and giving it a really nice gloss. Okay, Luna's done. Well, come here, Luna. Let's check out this fleece. Wow. Look at how shiny my hands are. All that 
lanolin is like butter melted. And while these are a dual purpose breed, we're not melting any butter on them today. I'm just kidding, they don't eat them here. Anyways, this is one of the locks. Look at how long that is. When you compare it to the other breeds, look, it takes up the entire hand. Look how beautiful that crimp and the curl is. This stuff is actually really good for uh, spinning because of the color and the length, but also for making doll hair, which I think is super interesting. They take this and make it into realistic dolls and uh, just another cool way you can use fiber. They also say that this is really good for felting. So um, this is a really nice place that can be used pretty much across the board. Um, these sheep are dual purpose breed, which means that they can, well, actually they're kind of an all around breed. Not only could they be utilized for uh, meat consumption, which is not the case here, but they can also be milked and uh, their milk can be made into cheese and other things like that. And they produce a super office off a super awesome fleece. So very excited to see what this thing weighs as compared to some of the other fleeces we took off because it feels pretty heavy, but it's not very dense and it's not like caked in lanolin. Like it's not sitting there holding all of the grease together like some of the other fleeces. So I just, I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Okay, can I see your bag? Oh, eight pounds. <laughs> eight pounds off of a two-year-old fleece. I mean, honestly, this is heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, gosh, that's really freaking cool. Well, it's always interesting to see what the actual weight is because sometimes you can have a long stable length, but it's just not very dense. Or in this case, there's a lot of locks in here. So when you add all those locks up that aren't very greasy, it adds up to a lot of weight fast. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next time sharing some more sheeps with Clyde, the baby doll ram. Starting early with some chest building exercises. Super caked on. Short lock, but you can see it's very crimpy.